Hello and welcome to the second part of our video, where we start right at the moment of texturing the facade of the Hobbit dwelling with our desert sand paste. While the paste dries, we will mark the different volumes of the terrain, marking where the stairs and the rest of the objects will go on the surface. We will cover the marked areas with our putty Max Putty and then proceed shaping and adding textures. This putty is very easy to work with, with an excellent final result. As you can see, working with this putty is easy and comfortable. Just wet the rubber brushes a bit with water and you can shape the bricks effortlessly. Then you can texturize each wall using, for example, this simple trick. A bit of crumpled aluminium foil and the wall will be perfect. We are using our texturing paste again to create the final terrain of the diorama. We will apply a thin layer and let it dry before painting. The next step is to apply a coat of matte black primer to the facade until the terrain once dry and then start the painting process. Here we go. As you can see, we have used different shades of color for the bricks that make up the door, imitating a worn and aged effect. With a little acrylic resin and water, we are going to imitate the mortar that joins the bricks. And once the acrylic resin is dry, it's time to imitate humidity tones in these bricks with our wash inks. Look how simple and how good the result looks. What was the process to get the wood? Well, after scraping the surface with a metallic brush, we worked the veins with acrylic colors until we get the final result. We used the wash inks again to add nuances to the wood. Because every detail is important, we will make the door knob with a ring and a metal ball, fixing it with our cyanocrylid and accelerator. Then, we will glue it to the door with our decoupage. Using the heads of some pins, we are going to create the rivets of the door before starting the painting process.
And finally, we will paint the facade of the house with a cheerful yellow color, which will contrast with the reddish color of the bricks and the green of the door. Subscribe, like and activate the little bell so you can keep up with us. If you like it, tell us what you thought of this tutorial and stay tuned for the next Green Stop World video. Ha 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 ha!